Hello everybody, how are you? Well, we are going to test uh, the raw file uh, compression uh, on the card and the size, how much it's going to take. Uh, right now, I am having XQD 128GB uh, from Lexa and another is from uh, Telkin devices, XQD card, which is also 120GB. So, I have these two cards of 128 and 120 GB so I'm going to use these two and see how the performance of the raw file is going to be so let me put the card into the camera I'm going putting Delkin on slot 1 and I'm putting uh, XQD on slot 2 so right now I'm just turning on the camera and it says I can take 1.2 or like 1200 images let's go into the setting and see uh, first of all I have to format the card and see how it goes so I'm right now formatting the card uh, I'm formatting the first card and then I'm formatting the second card so both cards are formatted let's go it, it says 1.2 so it means that I can take uh, 1200 shots but what's the raw file compression right now so let's go and check uh, my raw recording is lossless compression so when I choose the lossless compression I can take up to 1200 shots so it means that it's going to be uh, 1200 so let's go and change the compression. I'm going high efficiency mode uh, and see what it's going to be. I choose this. Now I can take 2800 shots as you can see over here. So I didn't do anything. I just change the raw size compression. What kind of raw I'm going to take. And uh, what and then I'm going to change instead of high efficiency star I'm choosing high efficiency and it says 3000 shots instead of 2000 or whatever it was and that's wow so if you want to have and I can take these 3000 shots into 120 GB XQD card I'm not talking about buffer I'm not talking about buffer I'm just specifically talking about capacity under different ROS compression so I'm going back to high efficiency. It says 2,800. I'm going back to lossless compression, and it says 1.2k. So I believe, uh, but again, which is the best? Let's go and check. There's an option in every Nikon DSLR where you see this question mark. Any button which carries this question mark, you go into the menu. Okay and you just press this wherever this question mark appear you press this and it opens the dictionary and you can see lossless compression high efficiency file size in order to increase so high efficiency lossless compression in terms of image quality and it says everything so high efficiency style is nearly identical to lossless compression and high efficiency produce higher quality pictures than high efficiency so according to this definition of course you can go to Nikon website and you can download the manual uh, and see much more detail but uh, the description about these three different uh, raw compression algorithms but according to this the best that you can go with high efficiency star so I can I'm going to choose high efficiency star and in this way I can shoot 2800 images in 120 GB XQD card so instead of lossless compression I prefer to choose 2.8 gives me a similar kind of uh, raw uh, quality with much more higher capacity so that's it I thought to give you guys this uh, input and uh, we are going to uh, see the buffer size in some other video because right now you cannot justify the buffer of this camera based on the XQD card. The XQD card having a speed limit. XQD card read up to 550 MBPS. 
uh, the CF Express Type B, they are going up to 1700 Mbps, so huge difference. And then the buffer of this camera is not the camera dependent, it's your card depending. So if you are having uh, the less buffer, so it's your card, it's not the camera. I shoot uh, JPEG from on the XQD card and I was shooting uh, over 1200 frames in JPEG without any issue but that's part of some other video so I'll share with you some other time but let's go and uh, see how the next video is going to be so that's it guys and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye